Yo, what is good YouTube and friends? You're here chilling with the real Satoshi Aoki back at you for the weekly crypto.com focus video where we cover the broader markets as well as primarily focusing on the Kronos ecosystem specifically. As always folks, do remember that these videos are not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. And as always folks, if you wanna to refer to the timestamps, I always do leave them down below to cater for your best viewing experience. At the making of this video, my CRO portfolio is about 5 to 10% of my entire portfolio and I've also got a few Kronos NFTs. Now if you do find yourself enjoying the content today then don't forget to drop a like on this video. It does actually make a massive difference to the YouTube algorithm in helping get this video out to more people, sharing the news, sharing the good word of the Kronos ecosystem and if you want to see me again then just subscribe, it's easy to do, it's free, and turn the notification bells on if you do want to keep up with my regular content. Alrighty folks, so we're going to be starting the video off by checking out a bit of a view of the broader overall cryptocurrency markets via CoinGecko, and then we're going to follow that up with looking at CRO specifically. We're going to be having a look at some technical analysis on TradingView to have a look at where CRO is potentially headed in the future. Some news about Kronos in Cyprus, some DeFi stuff. We're going to follow that up with some info on some cool stuff happening in Singapore soon and some crypto and research insights, as well as some cool stuff regarding Google Pay, and finishing it off with some crypto.com NFT sales. Just before we jump straight into the video, folks, I do just wanna take a moment to share with you my new Patreon page, which I have just set up. There is no sponsor of the video this week, and I also wanna say I'm not sponsored and never have been sponsored by crypto.com. If you do wanna get signed up for a card, though, however, there will be a link for that at the top of the description of this video. And if you wanna support the channel a little bit further, guys, then you can come and support the channel here for two pound a month and I'm also doing a new monthly group coaching session and AMA for 15 pound 50 a month and then if you want to get some VIP Patreon service for 92 pounds a month where you can chat to me one on one that one is there as well. The two pounds a month, guys, is just a simple way that you can support the channel if you would like to, and you will also have monthly access to Patreon-only updates. As for my £15.50 a month, guys, you get access to my first monthly group coaching session and AMA. Sessions will be run on Zoom and be an hour long. Camera isn't even necessary, just audio so you can hear. The aim will be to answer any questions you have, as well as offer some guidance on how to maximize profits in the cryptocurrency and blockchain gaming space. We will also be covering Patreon-only news and information which will further help you become better educated to make gains in this space. Alrighty folks, so if we have a look at the broader markets, BTC and Ethereum, we're talking BTC at $21,334. If we're looking over the last seven days, 8.7% down. So are we looking towards a further correction? Hard to say at the moment. It's in a little bit of unpredictable waters, I would say right now. Ethereum following that up with a minus 5.2% over the last seven days. And if we turn now to the biggest gainers of the week etc ethereum classic up 6.8 percent bit dow 6.5 percent up and eos coming up at 3.7 percent up as for the biggest losers or maybe potential buying opportunities, we have ARR Weave minus 20.4%, Waves down 19.6%, and Loop Ring, the OG old dog from 2017, down 18.8%. And then if we move over to Chrono specifically, guys, trickling down a little bit that overall rank. I think we were around about 21 overall rank last week by market cap, now sitting at 24 rank. Again, doesn't mean a huge deal, but I think it's nice to see CRO in that top 20. If you are an investor, of course, and we are down a little bit guys we're at 12 cents at the moment seeming to hold that 11 sort of cents support quite well up 2.5 percent for the last 24 hours and if we check out the seven day guys cro is down 9.7 percent kind of following the trend of the rest of the markets 10.4 percent up though for the last fortnight down 1.9 percent for the last 30 days and still just holding on to a positive 5.3 percent for the year and if we have a look at some technical analysis from Leandro underscore P over at TradingView from July 21st, it's pretty obvious here from that last little bit of analysis that CRO is actually setting up some higher lows, guys, as we sort of move on over here. And there was clearly a level of resistance tested here, just above 14 cents before it really just trickled down and pretty much rebounded straight off that ascending line of around just shy of 13 cents. So what's gonna happen here will probably face maybe another retest here at around 13.9 okay just under 14 cents if we get rejected there i guess there is a possibility that cro could drop maybe
maybe back down here to test 11 cents again. And if it does break that, then maybe we're looking at minus 10 cents. Euro has the opportunity to stay in the uptrend if it doesn't break the support line. Otherwise, it would need more time before to break the possible ascending triangle. I think that's a pretty good TA in my opinion. What are your thoughts on this technical analysis? And from an article from Cointelegraph from July 22nd, 2022, Crypto.com scores regulatory approval from Cyprus SEC. Crypto.com exchange follows in FTX's footsteps by targeting aggressive expansion in Europe after receiving CYSEC approval. And then if you weren't too familiar with the top DeFi projects over on Kronos, guys, here is a little article where you can check it out from July 26th. It is from the Crypto.com University, which does have a plethora of fantastic and free educational pieces for new people coming into the cryptocurrency space. As for the top five DeFi projects by TVL, which is total value locked, which is essentially what has most money locked in that ecosystem from people within the cryptocurrency community like you and I, VVS Finance Finance sits up the top, followed by Tectonic, which is a lending platform, followed by Ferro, which is a stable coin DEX, and then MM Finance, where I do have a bit of my CRO, Ethereum, and some Bitcoin personally staked on there. That's also a DEX, followed by Beefy Finance, which is a yield aggregator. And some news from July 27th. We're excited to be participating in Singapore Blockchain Week 2022. Crypto.com coup Eric Node will be participating in a fireside chat 5 p.m. SGT. And a little bit of info from Crypto.com research and insights, guys. Some weekly layer one and two updates. Vitalik Buterin says Ethereum would only be roughly 55% complete following its transition to proof of stake. Sustainable BTC mining power mix hits 59.5%. Polygon launches ZK Evum Layer 2 Solutions. And some fantastic news for US Crypto.com card users, guys, or app users, available for users in the States, with more countries coming soon. You can now buy crypto with Google Pay straight through the app. And to finish off this video today, guys, we'll look at some of the top sales on Crypto.com for the past week. Number one, the Loaded Lions take it home again. This week, it's all about Loaded Lions leading the way with a massive legendary sale. And in second place, an honorable mention this week goes to the Cyber Cubs for their own large legendary sale. Now, if we have a look at that top sale, guys, we're talking 49,000 US dollars for this edition here. This kind of like diamond loaded line here looks pretty sweet. And then we got an 11K sale for the Cyber Cub here, followed by a 7,500 sale for this CRO line, 5.5 sale, a 5,000 sale, followed by another 5,000 sale. So people are interested in the Loaded Lions, guys, and I did make a video talking about this maybe a month ago or so, but I'm still bullish on the Loaded Lions, and the floor price when I was talking about them was around 1,600 US dollars. It's now sitting at 1,900 US dollars. I currently do not own any Loaded Lions. Now, folks, if you did enjoy today's content, then do remember to like the video, subscribe, turn the notification bells on, and head on over to my official Twitter, guys, where I often share with you great ways to earn new money in the blockchain space and just stuff that's going on within blockchain gaming, Kronos, NFTs, and Metaverse, guys, at Satoshi Oki7. That is my official Twitter handle. I hope from wherever you're watching, you had a great one out there in space, you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.